Coming up, a Sad Styles production. Get into it. You want to know something that I hate admitting, but I'm going to admit right now? Yeah, please. Any day of the week, you can ask me how many legs spiders have. Yeah. Some days I will say six, and some days I will say eight. Why do you think you say six sometimes? Because I don't know the truth. Well, that that's clear. So which is it, Andrew? It's eight. Okay. Right. Like arms on Dr. Octavius. Is there eight arms on Dr. Octavius? Oct. Oct. This is your problem in the first place. <laughs> this is it. You look, you're like, what does Dr. Octavius have? What is Two have? and four. Well, that's six. Spiders have six. Because why would it be Octavius? Because it sounds like octopus. No, but Oct is eight. I understand. Doesn't, isn't an octopus an octopus because it has eight arms? Yeah, well, yes. So then why? Don't. What am I? What are you? Stanley, what are you? Get out of here. Yeah. Stanley? <laughs> Stanley, what did I write the goddamn comic? What, what am I, the guy doing crosswords on the office? <laughs> Stanley? Gets excited about pretzel day? I'm only human. <laughs> and welcome to the Retrograde Podcast, where we remind you what you used to love and whether or not you still should. I'm Andrew Baskin, and with me, with me as always, is the bad boy of podcasting, Mr. Bebop himself, Toby Mikey Wire, <laughs> Aaron Ward. Toby Mikey Wire. It's Toby Mikey Wire, Aaron. Oof. Wow. That's I was like, bit, I never know whether you're going to like them or not, because sometimes they're awful, and you're like, I liked it, and I'm yeah. like, I don't know why. And yeah, sometimes yeah. they're primo, primo numero uno. Yeah. And you're like, I don't think I enjoyed that. Do you want me to be very honest with you? Yes. Well, that one sucked. What? Yeah, I didn't like Toby that Toby Mike Wire. Mike Wire. Mikey Wire. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I understand how you're, uh-huh. you're trying to fit your name into Toby Maguire, uh-huh. who, of course, is... Is he your Spider-Man? No, Tom Holland is my Spider-Man. Wow. And obviously we're talking Spider-Man. First of all, my name is Mikey Aaronworth. Thank you very much. Uh, Secondly, uh, we're doing uh, uh, Spider-Man. Obviously, you've seen the title of this podcast. If you're new to this podcast, first of all, welcome. Secondly, typically what we like to do on this podcast is take a look back at the games that we used to play when we were kids. Usually it's something that we had an affinity towards one way or another. Uh, We rate and review the game as we remember it back when we played it out of four bits. Then we take a break. We play the game, play you some of the audio or the video over on YouTube if you're watching over on YouTube. And then we come back and rate and review the game once again out of four bits as it holds up in the modern day against likes of modern games before we do that we like to take a thwip <laughs> we'd like to take a thwip a thwip yeah quick right turn around the empire state building like spider-man would do and talk a little bit of nonsense for well that while. sounds great but i was asking you about spider-man uh-huh. so before we get to the nonsense okay tom holland is your spider-man tom girl? holland like is, that's... My, is my spider-man wow. now now i will say because we also we have a little something special planned which is we're going to talk about our top five uh favorite instances of spider-man in the universe <laughs> instances of spider-man well, we thought like in brazil that time where he was in a napkin of like uh when a, a spill happened and they, you saw spider-man's face hell yeah that's, that's, an, an, that's an example yeah. any anytime spider man's name has come up yeah every time a spider lands on a man yes that counts that's a spider-man that that's a spider-man <laughs> you are now spider-man you are now spider-man it's like the fly that's the same same idea right yeah right uh, uh, uh another great movie that oh, i think everyone should go back and watch movie. Yeah. yeah terrifying <laughs> uh not terrifying you're a little oh baby. it's disgusting it's disgusting oh, it's not it, terrifying ugh, body horror man yeah, I see. I, I experience body horror every time I get in the shower, Andrew. This is no nothing new to me. Your teeth fall out. My teeth fall part out. Your, part your sk- skull caves in. Yeah, the teeth on my belly button yes. fall out <laughs> in some weird Cronenberg esque <laughs> thing. Uh, no, but I, I cause, so we'll get into like our specific rank. I just bit my lip. We'll get into some specific rankings of, of instances in Spider Man. Um, but I think as much as I love Tom Holland as Spider Man, I think he's the best Spider Man. I do have such an affinity towards the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man Absolutely. because he started the whole superhero genre as we know it today. Well, yeah. Well, wait, X-Men came out first, but yes, uh, the first X-Men right. predates Spider-Man, but Spider-Man was such a runaway success. Yes. Like so successful at the box office. It's really hard to quantify how much Spider-Man is like important. And like now we look back, we're like, oh, it's, the suit is so different than yeah. the comics. And yep. like Mary Jane is, I don't, like Chris does Mary Jane. I don't know about that. But like the whole thing is just so different yeah. that we're like, ah, I don't even know. But it's like, even then it's hard to quantify. Man, Chad Kroger just ripping songs on the top well, of the building. That was Spider-Man too. I don't care. Yeah. No, neither do I. That's my ringtone. And it always will be. Well, there you go. Because yeah. you need a hero to save you. I always um, have. Yeah. And I'm <laughs> waiting for you to maybe now pull more your than weight. ever. Maybe now more than ever. Think about indeed. that. Yeah. Uh and and uh and we're hoping that, you know, obviously right now there there aren't very many heroes, but uh mm-hmm. maybe in twenty twenty four our hero will return to office and save us. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. I was wondering where you go with that. Oh God! Yeah, we need to yeah make Spider-Man great again or something. 
<laughs> well, he's got the red suit. No, oh God. <laughs> yeah, just, needs a, just needs a fancy Build hat. that wall out of spider web. <laughs> uh, uh, so Andrew, what, what about you? Who's your Spider-Man? I, I think it's hard not to think Tobey Maguire is my is my Spider-Man. And that's why I love Tom Holland because yes. you're like, well, it didn't work. But if I like, it's like the same way that like, I, it's the same way that Michael Keaton is my Batman. And that's why- Is I, he really? Well, that, yeah. I've always, I, you know, a lot of people say that you're not wrong, obviously. Yeah. Well, or you, yeah, I no, mean, thanks. you're wrong, but you're not no. alone. Well, I'm not. I, I mean, I would argue that or you either. are wrong or alone. Yeah, I'm right and- and in the in the in the forever brace of of people that think alike mm. uh oh that's probably not good either yeah it doesn't uh doesn't mm. sound great i no, just described twitter michael keaton <laughs> michael keaton is uh he he isn't my batman at all okay, he's never he's your batman Val Kilmer? my batman Val george Kilmer's Clooney? good george clooney's good i honestly i think unfortunately I, I, as an actor, I don't know that any of them have hit it. I would say one of the voices possibly, but I mm. guess Christian Bale has just, he, he kind of is, I think to, to date the best version of that. Right. That we've seen. See, but that's what, that's what I'm saying about this. That's what the same analogy there. It's like Tom McGuire was the first, he was the one I watched growing up. Yeah. The, the ones I watched a ton because he had a ton of time back then and it wasn't really perfect. So then when Tom Holland comes along, you're like, wow, this is great. Yes. And the same with Michael Keaton where you're yeah. like, oh, cool. And Jack Nicholson, oh, this is great. Yeah. And then when Christian Bale comes along and especially with the Nolan films, you're like, oh, this is what they can be. Even yes. though like I still see them, like I was an adult when I watched them. So it's kind of hard to be like, this is my guy. This yeah, is my yeah, yeah, guy. yeah. I get it. You I know what it. I mean? I get it. Yeah. So I guess it, it, the, the question or the, 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 the scope of the question has to kind of change. It's like, who do you think is the best versus who is the one that means the most to you? Those yes. are two different ones. So yes. if it's who means the most to me, yeah, it, it's definitely Tobey Maguire. Yeah. And that whole, that whole series of movies meant so much to me. Especially number the third three. one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did we both say the same thing? Yeah. yeah oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Um, Spider-Man in, Andrew, in terms of superheroes, I mean, this is going to be a Spider-Man focused episode, I think, because obviously the movie is coming out in just a couple days. A couple days. If you're listening to this the day that the podcast comes out. Thursday at midnight. Thursday at midnight. Now, we had planned to do a, oh, yeah, a okay. screening and uh, a and private then, screening. A private screening. Just you and I. And Tom. And Tom. Yeah. Hanks. <laughs> not Dressed only up as Spider-Man. Not only private friend, huge Spider-Man fan. <laughs> We don't like to talk about this podcast. We think it'd be a little gauche if he came on. People actually don't know this, and I don't know if we want to dox okay. Tom Hanks I, like this. Hey, I don't know. Watch yourself. We can edit this out if, okay. if you think it's too okay. controversial, but a lot of people don't know. This is a little peek inside Hollywood squares, um, but the um, the the what thing about, about Whoopi? <laughs> oh, sorry, about no. making Whoopi. Yeah. Um, the thing about Tom Hanks yes. is, um, I, I can't believe I'm saying this. His alter ego, like his version of Spider-Man is Tom Holland. He is Tom Holland. He puts on the 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 young suit yeah. instead of the old suit the young and suit. the makeup. And yeah, he, yeah. Is, he is Tom Holland. He's that's, Tom Holland. Yeah, I mean, you know that. He, he he's, Is that why they have the same first yeah, that's why they have the same first name? It. Yeah, it's like how 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 uh, uh, Clark Kent, you're like, dude, don't just put on the glasses. You got to change it up a little bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, but mm -hmm. he chooses not to. Right. It's, and so, yeah. And so Tom Hanks is seeing the movie with us for the first time. Yes. And so he's so excited to see how he did in his portrayal he's, of Spider-Man. And because he, he, he told us, he's like, I'm not going to watch the finished version until it's with Mikey and Andrew. Yeah. And, and, and he and he looked at me and he said, he said, he said, Toby, Mikey Wire. And I said, thanks, Tom. I'll use so, that on the podcast for you and you only. But but so we, we might have to edit this out because but but that's fine. OK, but now we have really disappointing news. Because, because we can't do it. We can't do it. We got to tell Have you told Tom yet? Oh man, I can't do it. I mean, he's just <laughs> going to be so disappointed. He sends me tweets all the time and I'm always like, who sent me this? And then he signs off with Hanks. Hanks. And so I know that it's him. Yeah. But I just don't know if I could break that little kid's heart. <laughs> and what, what are you breaking his heart to? Uh, it, it, the song "Ache You Break Your Heart." <laughs> no, I mean, what's the news you're telling him that we can't watch the movie with him? Uh, we were going to over on our Patreon account, Patreon.com/slash Retrograde Podcast. Uh, the, if you join the Mushroom Club, we do at least two episodes per month. It's usually more than that. December's gonna be busy. December's gonna be busy. <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, we were going to have an episode where we go out and see Spider-Man on opening day or, mm -hmm. or thereabouts. Mm -hmm. Come back right afterwards and and review it and do a spoiler cast for all you guys. But unfortunately. Um, I have to get surgery <laughs> that's going to put me out of commission for a yeah, little yeah. while. So we have to get ahead on our recordings. Uh, I'm not going to be able to see it. So maybe we'll talk about it afterwards on the regular podcast. Um, or but, if you really demand it, I'll just do a one man podcast. Me and Hanks talking Spider-Man. <laughs> That'd be great. That'd be awesome. Uh, yeah. So no, we wanted to do that because obviously it's going to be the biggest movie of this last couple months. I think so. You know, everyone's excited for Spider-Man, all the many different things that can happen. If you have spoilers, you stay the hell away from me. You stay the fuck out of my life. Get out of here. Even you, Tom. Well, yeah, Tom, I 
Love you, but you can fuck right off. You can fuck right off. Um, and yeah, so we so we, we were so excited to see that. And in, in, in honor of that, we wanted to go back and play a Spider-Man game, which we've never done on this podcast. We've never Crazy. done, surprisingly, never mm-hmm. done on this podcast. I know. Spider-Man's been in so many different games. We've, we've played games with him in it. Um, and maybe this is our cue to get into our top rated Spider-Man instances <laughs> of all time. Are you ready to get into I it? I am so ready to get into it. Okay, this. so I'm going to, I'll start us off here. Uh, and by the way, we didn't mention this, but there are a ton of Spider-Man video mm-hmm. games out there. This one, Spider-Man, we're doing the 2000, the year 2000 PlayStation 1 version. Right. Uh, there are so many, There, a, a year or two later, another game <laughs> called Spider-Man came out. <laughs> Like they, the, didn't, they just didn't differentiate the name <laughs> uh, based amazing. on the movie. But at this at this time, there were a lot of Spider-Man games and even prior to it. So if you're wondering which one we're doing, it's that one. It was also released on the N64 about a year later yeah. as a port. But the PlayStation 1 version was notoriously uh, uh, the best one of those, yep. including the Dreamcast and Windows version, which were released after that. Uh, but let's get into it, Andrew. I'll start us off because okay. uh, I've been thinking about this a long time. Um, my... I guess we'll go. Do we want to go in any particular order? No, I don't think I'm ranking them either. Okay, by the way. so we'll just just no, name so that's good. some stuff. Let's name. Let's try to get through five. Okay. I've got five that I can do. Okay, my number one, the number one thing that I want to mention because this is what got me into Spider Man. I know you've always been a huge Spider Man fan. Whenever huge. we used to as kids play Marvel versus Capcom, uh, Spider Man was always one of your choices. He was mm-hmm. always in your roster, so you had always had an affinity towards him. Yes, I liked Spider Man back in the day because he was all over the place, all over the news. Uh, J. Jonah Jameson really trying to pin that guy down. Oh. Can't pin him down unless you have eight pegs, <laughs> one for each leg. Um, the uh, the uh, 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 the one I want to start with is the Spider Man movie from two thousand two, the Tobey Maguire okay. one. Okay, I think it just it, we it you know it's going to come up on this list, and it really started my obsession, like my f- legit obsession with Spider Man. I read the book that was based on the movie, <laughs> the novelization, the novelization, <laughs> and fell so deeply in love with Mary Jane. Well, Mary Jane's. An amazing character. She is an amazing character. Yes. Uh, I, I really like her a lot. I would like to give her a, a hug if she would allow it because I'm a uh, I'm a respectable man. That's kind of weird. I, if she would allow it, I would give her a hug. That's all I'm going to say. Do you think she'd give you like a Comic-Con hug where they, she put like floats her arm above you or something like that? Like you're not allowed to touch her, but you can like. But she does. She does lean in. She leans in for that. Yeah. But then you, but then you're going to like smell or do something weird. Yeah, probably. Yeah. She didn't say I can't. <laughs> I, I need you to list specifically and in order. What can the, I what can't, can't do. I do? If it's not on this list, everything else is on this table. Well, I don't see atomic bombs on you. I don't see. You well, know. now that I got you, I'm taking you skydiving. <laughs> <laughs> Show me where skydiving is. <laughs> so Andrew, what about you? What's one of yours? Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man uh, no, 2. No, no, we're just going to go chronologically <laughs> through the movies. Um, like I said, like, like Mike, I said, I read these comics a lot as a kid yeah. and, uh, I had so many, uh, classic, one of those things where my parents probably looked at them and like, well, these are worthless and just threw them out. Yes. Uh, and they were probably today worth a lot more. There was a few of them in cases. Uh, Ooh. what are you going to do? Some of them were holographic. Oh, buddy. Some of them were reflective. Oh, um, buddy. yeah, I want to talk about like, I think one of the biggest ones. So like I am, I am, I'm freestyling this question a little bit. So yes. you're just going to go with me. One of my favorite things about Spider-Man that was the, the Marvel's response to the DC universe was the rogues gallery of Spider-Man is the strongest of any of the other ones. And so one of the, my favorite things about Spider-Man, the instances of Spider-Man is the sinister six series. Oh, nice. Uh, the sinister six, which we look like we might be getting in this movie. Be great. I don't know. You know, we're saying, but like is such an interesting idea. And out of that, I want to talk about one specific one. Okay. Craven the hunter. Oh, I love Craven. Craven is such a cool idea Yes, where it's just not like he's not a superpower. He's not anything. He's just like, I have hunted every, everything. Yes. I am a monster and now I'm hunting the most dangerous game of all. The no. real Nicki Minaj of villains. Oh, a motherfucking monster. He's a motherfucking yeah, monster. absolutely. He is. His outfit is incredible with the lion's head yes. on his chest and yes. stuff like that. And it's, it is like one of those ones where like, this is so stupid. And then the, wor- the closer we get into this future world that we now live in, where it's like, I read in 1994. I'm like, Oh, this is insane. Now yes. I'm like, this would never happen. Now it's 2021. And like the richest people are like, let's go to Mars so we can hunt something. Exactly. This is a real thing. Yes. So I, I love Craven the Hunter. I love Sinister Six. And it's one of my th- favorite things about Spider-Man in the comics. I love that. I love that. And also I, in, in terms of Craven, I think the, my favorite, I struggled to call him a hero, but I think he would 
be classified as a hero over a villain, maybe maybe an anti-hero, a real Holden Caulfield type. Mm. Um, uh, Jake Caulfield's brother, by the way. Really? Holden Caulfield is Jake Caulfield's brother. Oh, not Cole Caulfield? Not Cole Caulfield. Okay. <laughs> okay, interesting. This is, this is Getting inside. deep into hockey talk again. I was going to say inside baseball, but God. it's inside hockey. Yeah. Um, uh, for the three listeners who understand those jokes. Yeah. Uh, no, the... the, uh, the player in the minors. Is, is the... <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's the uh, uh, the Punisher. Kind oh. of similar, like no superpowers, just good at hunting Absolutely. humans. The most dangerous sport. Well, actually, and to like we we talked about last week a little bit, but also like Hawkeye, who yes. has a TV show out right now because of its release schedule. We're not going to be talking about it, but that will be having a definitely a Mushroom Club episode. Definitely a Mushroom Club. Uh, I guess that'll be in January or so. It right? will be because as of the this airing, four episodes have aired, and there's only six episodes in the season. So oh, who knows? So yeah, probably maybe soon. Maybe first week or so of January. Yeah. We got to check our <laughs> maybe during our uh, New Year's Eve. Uh, uh, New Year's Eve uh, Power Hour or oh, uh, Century Club. fucking hell, man. We'll talk about that later. Sorry, I don't want to. I, I yeah, skipped yeah, yeah. ahead. Uh, so we've got uh, uh, Spider-Man. Uh, my, my next yep. instance of Spider-Man mm-hmm. is the thing that really kind of gave me. So I started being obsessed with Spider-Man based on the movie. Uh, Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire. Is, that's the full title yeah, of the movie. Yeah, it is. That's <laughs> the full title of the movie. Um, I had a lot of power back then. But then I was able to live my fantasy uh, by playing Spider-Man to the video game 2004. Whoa. So weird turn of, so Spider-Man, the game that we're playing this week, yes. uh, came out in 2000, I believe in 2002, there was a game that came out alongside the movie Spider-Man. It's also called Spider-Man, the movie, but Spider-Man Two, the video game was two. the first two <laughs> was the first case of like open world web slinging traversal ah. the way that like that set the new standard for what a spider-man game needed to be as opposed to level based uh, instances where sure you could swing but your your uh webs aren't really attaching to anything they're just kind of going up into the air and you can ah, swing yeah, wherever yeah, yeah, yeah. spider-man 2 kind of turned that all on its head it was 2004 so they had some time to improve upon the grand theft auto open world formula yeah. uh and that just really made me realize how fun traversal as a mechanic in a video game can be. I love that game so much. Oh, there you go. So that's awesome because number two was going to be on my one. Uh, the Spider-Man video game, the most recent one that has come out uh, nice, nice. for PlayStation 4 and Xbox 360 and uh, and uh, it, 360, what am I talking about? But uh, 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 PlayStation 4 and then re-released with Miles Morales on, on PlayStation PS5. 5, yeah. Um, the Insomniac one. The Insomniac one. It just, to be honest, this one is like the game changer for uh, superheroes and video games. Something that Mikey and I have talked about in this podcast forever. Right. Why, why wasn't there good video game superheroes and stuff like that? And then this game comes along and you go, oh, okay. Yes. Oh, okay. So this, it can be done. This is really awesome. And it's like, whereas the Batman games are awesome and yes. they're, they're really, really good. And I think are unique in their own right. This one in the traveling around the city was so much fun. It was so much fun. And and I just, I loved it. And the way that they would change the dialect to every time that people were like stressed out, their their voices would change and things if like you, that. If you thwip up on a web yeah. mid dialogue, the tone of what you're saying changes. Crazy. It, like Insomniac, man, they get a lot of flack and I don't know why for the Ratchet and Clank series. Yeah. And every time they make a game, it's just fucking fun. They know, they know maybe more than any other developer out there how to make fun fun games uh and they made spider-man 2018 and miles morales subsequently super fucking fun super fun and i just i really want to talk about that because the avengers video game recently came out with spider-man in oh it. my god and, dude. Uh, i heard it's a clunker <laughs> so <laughs> big old clunker i mean but this is so we talked as, as well about what it's going to take to get a good superhero game like avengers game because you need to really change mechanics and tailor them towards each of the specific heroes mm-hmm. we didn't get that in the square enix game the, the Avengers game that that came out last year or yep. so, um, last year or earlier yeah, this last year. year. Yeah, I think it was last, last year. year. Uh, the the one in which Spider Man is now now apart. Um, uh, but then you get someone like Insomniac tailoring a game towards Spider Man, yeah. or I can't remember who developed the Guardians of the Galaxy game, but that's getting a lot of uh, love and attention as yeah. well. So it feels like maybe. Maybe will the technology just isn't there to get a full on Avengers game where all of the heroes look and feel and play unique. Yeah. Um, but until then, we have the individual ones. Insomniac's making the Wolverine game. I know. Which could be phenomenal I'm as well. So excited for that. Really excited for that. Yeah. So there you go. That's mine. 2018 Spider Man. My third choice is going to be uh, I'm going to be getting uh, a little bit more specific uh, because I want to talk about specifically Spider Man's appearance in Marvel vs. Capcom. Oh. That is one of my favorite instances as well i know that he was one of your your yes. go-to characters i didn't appreciate him as much before but there's something and you don't get to appreciate him now oh. that's the rules oh do i not yeah 
Are you stealing that Turn pick Turn forfeited. Okay, oh, my shit. pick now. Okay, what are you going to pick for yours? Okay, I'm a graceful God. You could go. Don't worry. Continue. Continue. Oh. I'm a nice guy. I know you're stressed. There by the grace of God go Andrew. Yep. Uh, there by the grace of God swings Spider-Man <laughs> into my third pick, which I'm going to keep as Spider-Man okay, in okay. the Marvel vs. Capcom games. Yeah, no, honestly, he was so much fun and he moved so differently and I loved using him in the Hulk because it was like, you know, thunder and lightning the, kind the of tank thing. versus the, yeah. Yeah, or, you swap in the, and like, you could always like, if you get him in a corner, you're like, well, here comes the Hulk and you're yes. like, ah, crap. So I, such, so much fun. And, yeah. and also like at that time, Spider-Man was kind of a dead property. You know yeah. what I mean? Like the TV show, which I'm sure will come up in a bit, uh, was, was something and the cartoons were something and then they, the comic books were something and then you're like, man, it's too bad that they couldn't do something with this fun, like quippable character, yes, you know? Yes, exactly. I would, I'll call him thwippable character. <laughs> oh, hello. There we are. Speaking of, in my third pick, I'm going to be taking specifically the appearance and the first appearance of Tom Holland in Captain America Civil War. I love it. Uh, it's just nearly perfect and it, it set the tone for where they were. The suit was right back to the cartoon suit with yes. this like bright red, bright blue yep. and the eyes move, yes. uh, which was always like crazy like and Tom Holland just found the tone with it he looks young he acts young but he knows what he's doing like he's powerful he just hasn't figured it out yet it's just nearly like tone perfect and it's no coincidence that these next three movies after that have been so good so I just that specific instance makes your eyes go wide and you're like inside of maybe an uneven movie you're like oh, this is so good in in the Marvel movies you know, we obviously have a few that have a few of the franchises have had multiples in them. You've got uh, uh, Guardians has two. Uh, Thor has three. Captain America has a few. Iron Man. Iron Man has a bunch. Spider-Man is coming up on three. Yeah. Of all of the heroes that have had multiple instances Ooh. in the Marvel Universe, which which is your favorite? The doesn't necessarily mean it has your favorite movie, but your favorite mm. string of movies. I, you know what? It, oh man, it's probably got to be Spider Man just because the consistency of quality is so good across all three. Yeah, yeah. we assume. We assume. <laughs> we assume. Hopefully, hopefully, I don't yeah. know. The first two have been the really first good. Two are amazing. Uh, I think coming in second is is Captain America, just because Captain America Winter Soldier and Civil War. Yes. Are, Winter Soldier is just phenomenal. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, Civil War is really great. Yeah, Black Panther in there. You got Spider-Man. It's, uh, it's so much fun. And the first one, I think, is going to age really oddly where it actually is better than we think it was at the time. Um, Whereas like- I, it, Yeah, so I'm on the record as not liking the first Captain America. Movie. I think it'll age better than we- yeah. I, But I, that's just a guess. Whereas I think Iron Man and Thor definitely have stinkers involved. Yes, like, yes. They're just straight up bad totally, movies in there. Totally. So I think that's where- That's where my movies- What are your uh, rankings? Guardian, uh, I, oh, would say, I would say Spider-Man would be my favorite. Guardians would be my second favorite. Okay, there Yeah, Even go. though the second feels a little paint by numbers compared to the first, those paint colors- Oh boy, I love them. Bright. Those bright neon paint colors. <laughs> I will, I'll take all those that I can get. Um, so that was your third. third pick. Okay, so with my fourth pick, you know, I, I hate to go with the boring one here, uh, but this was my first introduction to Spider-Man. Um, similar to the Batman TV show, it was just ah. constantly on in the background or just with me cross-legged watching in front of the TV and my mom saying, if you look at the TV so close, your face is going to stake like that or whatever she would say. She was an idiot. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, was. <laughs> She's still alive. Thank God. Um, she, but she got a lot smarter. She got a lot smarter. She was an idiot. She was. She's learned though. She went to night school. She got. She got her. <laughs> her GED. She got her GED. Also, your television was very smelly. It was very Be smelly. People, I forget that about your house. Very smelly television. Very smelly TV. Uh, one of the first cases of smell o vision. Uh, but it only came. We could only afford Negatively. the one smell. <laughs> And it was bad. It was it was beans. <laughs> oh God! I hope this television show has beans in it. But it's like a printer when it's running out of ink. If you only have one color, it just shoots that color out. <laughs> so it'd be like, look at these wonderful strawberries, and it would just smell like beans. <laughs> so to this day, I two things are yeah, true. Please, I cannot eat strawberries. Right, and I cannot watch Mr. Bean because that was. <laughs> That was just a bizarre scenario for me. Oh my God, just 30. He smelled like strawberries though. That's what I didn't understand. <laughs> I don't get what's so funny about him when he smells so bad the whole so time. Bad. So bad. Why aren't people all the time like, Mr. Bean, you need to check your hygiene. <laughs> I understand you have a turkey on your head. <laughs> Um, so it's Spider-Man, the animated series. I think the one from 94 to 98 or 99 or something like that. that would Not the be one from the 60s? Not the one from the 60s. Oh. Yeah, I didn't watch that one as much. I didn't understand that. Now, I think I appreciate that one more. Yeah. Kind of like you appreciate the 1980s Batman with Adam West, like for similar reasons. I don't think that's the 80s. <laughs> when is that from? Oh, that's like the 60s, 70s. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. 
Same thing. Yeah, same thing. I, I wasn't alive. <laughs> I was dumb. I didn't have my GED yet. Exactly. <laughs> and wh who was raising you? Another idiot. <laughs> you know, what am I supposed to do? Okay, so with my fourth pick, I'm going to go. I thought, I, I actually thought it was like backpacking your, uh, your pick here, but now it's a separate order entirely. The theme song. Spider-Man, oh, the theme amazing, song. Amazing. It's perfect. It is it's something, it's actually similar to the Batman. Like everyone knows it. It doesn't matter if they're unaware Spider of Spider-Man. There Spider we go. Man. Doesn't and mean. actually really, really cool is the uh, the versions that they use in the movies currently are the orchestral versions of that. Yes. That open every movie with the no, 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 no. It's really good. Yeah, the, the weird kind of like sampled remixes that you get. Or like I think in the in Spider-Man, the 2002 movie, uh, you had uh, uh, like a street a guy on the subway playing yeah, Spider-Man. I think it was a song. ringtone also at one yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Those, those are nice. Yeah, um, it's just, it's iconic. My pick kind of piggybacking on yours because I think music is so important in the Spider-Man franchise. No song is more iconic than Hero by oh Jack Crow. Oh my God. <laughs> is, I don't care what anyone says, the greatest theme song to any movie I've ever heard in my life. I'm talking- Mikey. My heart will go on. Yeah. More like your song will get the fuck out off my Spotify playlist when what? Chad Kroger's here to stay. You know what? But you could, could you make an argument for a superhero song? Mm, Kiss from Rose. What's, what superhero song is that from? It's from Batman Forever. Oh shit! No, because bat. bat dance. Oh, bat dance! You go, you go bat dance over yeah, there. Yeah, hundred Yeah. Or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ninja Rap. Oh, that's that. You know what? That may take the the. Mm -hmm. I'd say the cake, but more like the pizza. Oh <laughs> god! If you guys at home have more songs associated with superhero movies, let us know because there, there are a ton, and I really want to hear that. Yes. But yes, the, 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 of course, who could forget the Chad Kroger song? Chad sure. Kroger and someone else who never gets. I credit think it's Carlos Santana. No, Andrew. Carlos said no. Yeah, I want you let's to look it up. I want you to look it up. Definitely not Carlos it Santana. Okay, I'll, I'll look it up while you okay, give us. I'll your, do your my final fifth pick. one then. Um, so it's it's going to be a little bit tough, but I think I think if we're going to do other rogues galleries and jo stuff, Josie Scott. Oh, what does I think of? I, th th you're thinking of of the guy from Matchbox Twenty with mm. Smooth, Smooth. <laughs> yeah, Smooth. Maybe I was thinking of Smooth, <laughs> which was of course also the X Men's theme song. So <laughs> I just want everyone to remember that. Um, okay, so we're going to do instances of Spider-Man, and I think there's, uh, you know, MCU has a huge issue with villains, yes. right? And I've already kind of oh, touched on the I villains like a little I bit, like and I've touched the Sinister Six, but the main part of the Sinister Six, and the same reason why Loki kept showing up, or, you know, different times that we have a villain, we use them over and over again. Alfred Molina playing Dr. Octopus is the most iconic, heartfelt, like, you got to sell the idea that why are they a villain? Why are they a bad guy? Mm -hmm. And it's because their story has to make sense. They have to want to do this thing and for it to actually make logical sense yes. instead of going, I'm evil. And yes, they just do exactly. evil stuff all exactly. the time. Alfred Molina as Dr. Octopus is like a heart and, and, and it's scary. And it, oh, it's just great. It's just Hello, great. Hello, Peter. And, and I love that. And you know, skip ahead 10 seconds if you didn't watch the newest trailer. Yeah. Whatever. And he, he lifts off his mask and goes, you're not Peter Parker. Yes. Like, oh my God. And you're like, I love it. So good. So amped for the movie. So that's a, that's a great list. I mean, Spider-Man has, has permeated our, our, uh, our conscious minds and pop culture for, I mean, decades. Decades. Decades and decades, and and at no point in time has he been bigger. Actually, that's not true. I think mm. he, I think in the early two thousands was probably the peak because he wasn't sharing the superhero spotlight right. with just about anyone else. Um, so that's that. That's a great list. And you mentioned villains. One villain Boy, do in I. particular that I actually was wondering if you were going to say is Mysterio because I actually think Mysterio was the best villain. Love it, Jake Gyllenhaal's Mysterio in Spider Man movies. I loved him. He but was that so was a good. nice take on that thing instead of just being like a silly prop master who's yes. like oh, I went insane <laughs> like and running away. But there have, there have been instances of Mysterio basically just being someone else. And such is the case in the year 2000s, PlayStation 1 oh, and N64 game, Spider-Man. Yes. The self-titled, the titular, the <laughs> eponymous Spider-Man. Um, developed by Neversoft and published by Activision. Whoa. Guess what video game engine they used to make this game? Video game engine? Yeah. Uh, is it obvious? Yes. Uh, okay, good. That doesn't make me feel bad. Uh, <laughs> it's obvious, but nonsensical. You would not pair these two games up. Grand Theft Auto? No, Tony well, Hawk Pro Star. Skater. Shut up. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Activision never saw, and that's why I think in like Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 or 3, Spider-Man is a playable character. Yes. Has moves where you like, like you you kick flip your, your board out and it it slide it back to yeah. you. That was fucking wicked. I mean, no, Neversoft could do no wrong 
in the early 2000s. Mm-hmm. They were just kicking so much ass. Um, so you gotta imagine working there just like, we can never lose. We can, <laughs> we can never lose. This is my gold shoes. I'm king of the world. <laughs> uh, so uh, it was uh, uh, ported to the N64 by Edge of Reality, uh, who also ported a lot of Neversoft's games like Tony Hawk Pro Skater to the N64 when they came there. Cause a lot of people forget Tony Hawk Pro Skater did make it to the N64. Yeah. Um, it's such a hard name. Yeah. Edge yeah. of Reality. Edge of Reality. Makes Edge no reality. sense. I'm at, it's, it's like, it's like, what is this? Uh, uh, a Tom Cruise movie before its name gets changed to Live Die Repeat? <laughs> no, we do the other way around. Edge, Edge of Tomorrow. It was called Live Die Repeat. They they changed. No, it, it was to, called Edge of Tomorrow. They changed it to Live Die Repeat. Well, they changed it on the re-release. It was originally called Live Die Repeat because of the book, but then and then they changed it for the cinematic release to Edge of Tomorrow, and then changed it, it back, again? and then doesn't do well. And then on the re-release or the DVDs or the uh, oh my digital God. thing is now Live Die Repeat. That's so weird. I didn't realize. Isn't that. that crazy? Edge of Tomorrow sucks as a name, by the way. It's awful. It's awful. It Actually, makes no fucking sense. It's not bad. Edge oh, really? Tomorrow? Okay. It's one of those things that history like, will judge. <laughs> it's better than live, die, repeat though. Live, die, repeat. At least I know what. Yeah. But that's like calling John Wick shooting guns. But the guy's name is John Wick. Mikey. It's hard to like. Well, fine. It's like calling the matrix computer simulated <laughs> slaves. Wait, is that what that movie's about? <laughs> See, of another, maybe we should do another this. Mushroom Club we have coming up at the end of December is, oh, yeah. is for the Matrix 4. Mikey is legitimately vibrating on the inside I'm about so the Matrix. Excited. I'm so fucking excited. Resurrections? Uh, yes, let's yeah. call it that. By the way, I've just been taught, like, you know, QR codes have dominated our lives. Yes. Uh, daddy. And uh, <laughs> and and you go to any place where it's retail or, or, or restaurants or something, you have to scan a QR code, obviously, to, to, to try and keep people safe. But the Matrix res- uh, resurrection uh posters are just large qr codes and every time i look at it, i'm like i'm not scanning what? i don't trust that, that feels like a fucking all. virus it feels like, like absolutely virus. <laughs> there's no chance you're you're the one that taught me not to do this this is this is like like the the true i have a theory about truman show <laughs> yeah. where it's like listen i'm fully aware that i am on a show and i know that your next thing is to say mikey everyone feels like that to some <laughs> degree which is a very good line and your director did you well to train you that way um but I find it absurd that in my world, someone released the movie Truman Show. What a dick fucking move. It's to, it's, to, it's a head fake. It's a real head fake. Yeah, to go like, well, he'll never believe this. He'll never believe yeah, it. Yeah. But it's the same thing with The Matrix. The machines released the movie The Matrix while we're in The Matrix? Yeah. That's mean. Well, it's just the answer is a lot more boring than we want it to be. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 I mean? yeah. But Biological yeah. life? Excuse me. <laughs> well, the Matrix- We should protect that in the womb. <laughs> The Matrix has taught me to be afraid of stuff like this. Yes. And now it's trying to go like, hey, scan this QR code. And you're like, that's like if McGruff the crime dog came by and he's like, you want to burn down a building? And I'm yeah. like, what? <laughs> you're the one that taught me not to do this. Smokey's just Smokey the Bear is just like lighting one up. I'm like, no. Only you can raise the forest. <laughs> what? Um, so let's talk a little bit about the uh, the uh, the plot of this one, because I mentioned uh, uh, that uh, Ray Mysterio Jr. is in it. Mm-hmm. Um, so Dr. Dr. Octavius um, <laughs> He's already an asshole. We know that about him, mm-hmm. right? Uh, but he's apparently on his best behavior and he's giving a presentation. Not oh, good for him. Uh, but while he's giving this demonstration, a fake Spider-Man attacks him. And Eddie Brock, being, being Eddie Brock, being he's Eddie like, Brock. I'm taking this guy's picture. Yeah. I'm going to expose Spider-Man. Yeah. But Spider-Man breaks his camera. And Eddie Wait, Bro- real Spider-Man or fake Spider-Man? Fake Spider-Man. Yeah, fake Spider-Man. Eddie Brock is so... I mean, Andrew, he's pissed. <laughs> are we talking Topher Grace? Or are we talking... I- Topher Grace is, is pissed he was convinced to be in that movie. Yes. Oh, but this God. is but Eddie Brock is so pissed. Yes. And then uh let's do one of those Johnny Carson things. Okay. How pissed was he? He was so pissed about his camera that the symbiote comes back <laughs> to life in him. It rises into prominence and he swears revenge on Spider-Man for breaking his camera. Oh no, so it never went away. He was still there the whole time. Yes, it was it was there the whole time, lying in wait for a moment that it would that would just piss him off. <laughs> God, I hope no one breaks my camera. I hope no one breaks my fucking camera. Because <laughs> I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. I have so many shirtless selfies with this thing. It's hard to do with a Nikon. <laughs> I love the idea that like you watch the 24 hours of Eddie Brock before that. He gets rear-ended. He's like, oh, it's okay, things happen, or like yeah, whatever. Yeah. Gets cut off in traffic, you know, does his other thing. <laughs> his wife cheats on him. Oh, it's okay, you know. I I wasn't a very good loving partner. His camera breaks. He's like, (laughs) so now Spider-Man's got a bunch of people after him. It's a real who's who of, of villains and heroes in this people. You might not expect uh, across the the course of the story, uh, including one person you run into as you're uh, trying to clear your name as Spider-Man because the whole world turns against you. You attack Doc Ock. He's a good guy. Uh, Or or he was daughter, doctor, 
Otto Octavius. Yes. A good man with clearly a good name. Clearly a good name. And I can't imagine how he would be do, doing bad things. He's proven that he's rehabilitated himself. Exactly. And uh, and and we all know that the prison system can do that <laughs> very successfully. Um, the uh, so, so you run into Daredevil at one point and Daredevil's like, I'll clear your name. Yes. And I'm like, no, you won't. And he's like, what do you mean? I saw that it wasn't you. I said, I definitely know you didn't see it wasn't he me. He saw you're it the, wasn't you're, you? You're definitely the only person who didn't see that it was me. You Who's going to believe you? You didn't see anything, Daredevil. I, and you're you know, blind. You are blind. How are you going to help clear my name? I, and They're that's just a gonna cruel joke. You? That's a cruel joke by God. <laughs> <laughs> this, that he's making you use that verbiage. So what I what I what you do in that situation is you huck a can over in the other direction. It clatters over there. Daredevil turns and you just whip your way out yeah, of there. He's hundred percent. He's gone. He's not falling. Absolutely. You. So Daredevil says to you, "What? The hell? Help clear your name." Oh, okay. And I'm well, like, he's a lawyer as well, by the way. That's true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, how dare I apply <laughs> logic to this story? Yeah, that's fair. Fuck that's me, fair. I guess. It turns out it was uh, Rey Mysterio Jr. who was uh, who was pretending to be Spider Man to distract you yeah. while uh, uh, symbiotes were like released all around New York, and that's basically the story of it. Um, the the the, end. the gameplay it's a crazy convoluted story, yeah. but the the best part about it is it gets you it weaves you in with a ton of different characters. You you've played this this one. Yes, Do you remember I have. is is yes. this familiar? Because there were so many, like I said, so many games that came out around this time, Spider Man games specifically. That I we talk about franchise bleed between like NBA. That. Street one, yep. two, and three. This is like franchise bleed across different releases of the game. Eh? Yeah. Well, it's, it has the same central character, and then there'll be parts where I'm like, oh, this is this game? Yes. Or there'll be parts where I'm like, why can't I? Oh, that must have been another game. Yes. Okay. But, you know, and that's okay. We, we find it with most franchises, one, two, or three, sports or not. Like, we did this with Max Payne you yes. know, a couple years ago. Yeah. We're like, wait, we can't do this part? Oh, okay. I wonder how my memory will hold up compared to this specific game. But this is probably the one I spent the most time with up until a couple years ago. It was prior to the open world ones. This was definitely the one that I, that I spent the most time with. Uh, It was, it was only a few years removed from those open world games, but it was, it was also uh, just a really good beat em up And the combat. I remember being very fluid. The web swinging wasn't attached to anything logical. Like you didn't swing up to a, a building, but I don't think there was any expectation that you, that they could even do that in a Mm -hmm. video game at this point. Like that would have been absurd. So just the free flowing nature of it, the focus on combat and story, all the voice acting in it, it really felt like uh, like it was it was more cinematic than most of what we've gotten in right. the past, and I remember that well. the uh, The game has the player controlling Spider Man as he goes through each level, uh, either trying to reach the exit or a certain objective. So we're back to Doom scenario. <laughs> The whole point is to leave the room. Just get the fuck out of Dodge. (laughs) Just get the fuck out of here. Hey, guys, it's Spider-Man. He's like, too bad, guys. Just walks out the exit. (laughs) Can I have your autograph? Oh, no, I need to. Uh, uh, I guess we'll vandalize things now. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Whatever. Um, uh, So he, uh, uh, you're following Spider-Man along, obviously. And one thing, this is a quote from the Wikipedia page, which I found uh, absurd. Uh, But but please, the player, the player must retry the current level. If Spider-Man runs out of health, so far, okay. reasonable. Yeah, video game. Or falls off a building. Well, how is there fall damage for Spider-Man? Just whip a fucking web. Oh, is there ammo for his? I don't think there's ammo. Okay, good. I think it's just if you if you miss the <laughs> thing or miss a jump or something, he's like- Realistic though. It is, you miss, you fall. Is, is Spider-Man so disappointed in himself that he's like, I missed. I'm just going to let myself hit the ground now. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> yeah, you don't get two or three shots. You don't that get thing. two or three shots. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh man, that's going to be, is, by the way, there's a very kind of like famous yeah, meme use from one of the Spider-Man video games where if you do not uh, unattach the bomb at a time before <laughs> before the level ends, the girl, the person that's tied up goes, oh, we're going to die. <laughs> and it like cuts to her face. I wonder if it's this game. Because I, I think it might be. I think it might be. Oh, we're gonna die! Oh, we're gonna die! Um, I uh, 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 the, the the other thing about this game that that I found kind of amazing is, as I mentioned, it came out on PlayStation One, and then the following year was released on N sixty four, Dreamcast, and Windows. If I told you that that they had an extra year to develop the game, and it came out on the more powerful console in a lot of ways yep. uh, in the N sixty four, what would you assume the better version of this game came out on? Oh, I, the, the newest, the newest one, right? right? right. Yeah, but no. Very famously, the PlayStation One version is heads and shoulders above the N sixty four version. The the there were cutscenes in the PlayStation One version which were fully drawn out and everything. In the N sixty four, I think it's just a matter of the processing power and and mm. where where the strengths and weaknesses lied in each in each console. They mm. had like almost freeze frame comic book 
things to kind of stylize cool. it, but it wasn't the the full. Uh, uh, you didn't get the full effect of the of the cutscenes, oh, okay. which was such a huge draw of, of Spider Man on the PlayStation One. Um, Metacritic was very favorable to this game. One of the nice. highest rated Spider-Man games of all time. Uh, 87% on PlayStation as opposed to a 72% on the N64. Uh, EGM gave it a 7.83. Eurogamer a 9. GamePro a 4.5. And IGN a 9. Uh, all in all, great scores. Wow. And I, in terms of your experience with Spider-Man video games, mm -hmm. I know you mentioned that this is probably the one that you played the most uh, barring potentially the 2018 Insomniac oh, version. Yeah. Was Spider-Man in games, was that always a, a big draw for you or were you kind of off of Spider-Man by the time that the games got good? I, I was kind of off. I, I, I there, you, your heart can only get broken so many times. <laughs> and I, and I think the, the thing is if you had a normal, I don't know, quote unquote, normal superhero where they walk around and beat people up, you're like, oh, this is easy enough. I'm just going to go around and beat people up. Right. The, the huge part of being Spider-Man is the traversing the city is the, is the swinging from building to building. And really, up until this point, video games had not been able to master that. It was it was clunky. You wanted to make excuses for it, uh, so you didn't really enjoy it. And so that at that point, that's why I not really cared for Spider Man too much. If it was contained like Capcom versus Marvel, yes, who cares? That's yes. it takes away that element. Capcom but, versus Marvel, interesting uh, uh, flip in the in the in the way to call that game. Well, I yeah yeah we grew up on the it's other more side. Formal. It's but more formal. It is. Yeah, yeah. It is. In Australia, that's what they call it because it that's it, the thing. And you backwards. know, I was raised in Australia. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah I do. Um, I knew that as well that's uh, that's why your voice is so fucking weird yeah it's it's incredibly weird it's so <laughs> weird well andrew are you ready to give this game its uh initial rating out of four bits based on uh what we thought about it when we were playing it back when it came out is that are you are you are you good with that or like, are, yeah i'd love that you i'd excited? love to i'd do nothing make me happier all right so as we mentioned typically what we do on this podcast is take a look back at the games we used to play when we were kids usually it's something that we had an affinity towards one way or another so we are going to rate this game out of four bits and this rating right now before we go and replay it is going to be based on our impressions of the game when we played it back when it first came out it's it's going to be a very uh, 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 subjective review based on what little baby Andy hey. and big boy Mikey, okay. even though he was smaller at the time, uh, he was playing this game. What did you think about it? If you were playing this game as a kid in 2000, what would you rate this game out of four bits? Thanks, Mikey. Um, I, so I loved Spider-Man. I loved Spider-Man in almost every instance, but Spider-Man video games did not do it for me at the time. I, I, I was much, I was, I don't know. They, they were always disappointing. And I think it was more for the fact that I cared so much about these. Sure. If I didn't care as much, I think I'd be like, oh, this is fine. But I, it wasn't like it ever was in my head. It ever wasn't like when I read the comics and I loved Spider-Man and I was like, yeah, it feels just like that. When this, in this podcast, we talk a lot about making excuses for this kind of stuff. You talked about last week with Spy Hunter. Yes. Where you're like, two weeks ago two weeks ago, excuse me, where in my, in your mind, you're like, I was a spy. Yes. You know, and yes. I, I, I was envisioning all the things I'd be doing in the car as I did, you know, whatever. Spider-Man had the opposite reaction where I was like, this isn't like what it's supposed to be. And so I was really disappointed by it all the yeah. time. So unfortunately, I'm not going to give this game a very good score because it was always something that was more disappointing. And then that's when 2018 happens. I'm like, holy fucking yes. shit. Yeah. I'm going to give this a two out of four. Two out of four. Okay, so definitely lower than I thought you were yeah. going to go. I, I, thought, I, didn't, I didn't enjoy this game. I thought much. you were going to love this game, but I agree with everything you've said. This was not what I imagined Spider-Man being. Yeah. Um, and I know this is this is before the Spider-Man movie, but I still, you know, I watched the comic books and I always, or watched the comic books, watched the, the cartoons. And I remember- If the comic books were just in a pile, did you just watch I them? I just, I would look at them. Yeah, and you're like, hmm. Next to the paint that I had that was drawing. <laughs> I would just be like, yo, look at this fucking, this is exciting. The grass is growing over there. And then my mom's like, if you sit too close to the paint, <laughs> you might be a redneck. I was like, mom, that's not how those jokes go. God, you're so dumb. You're so dumb. <laughs> Um, um, yeah, so, so I, I expected something more, you know, I didn't want to beat him up because yeah. what I liked about the Spider-Man cartoons was like the traversal and the web slinging mm -hmm. and this and that and Agility. the web slinging felt, yeah, it mm -hmm. felt more clunky and tacked on. And I was always baffled because these games were getting such good reviews, especially this one. It yep. was like, this is the one to the point where I had it. And I just couldn't get into it the way that I wanted to. I liked that it was holding your hand and trying to bring this world together. But at this point, even living in the world of Marvel, I didn't care about as much. Yeah. It was more about Spider-Man specifically. And it didn't scratch that itch for me. It didn't scratch that little spider bite for me. <laughs> Um, I'm talking about my nipples, little spider bites. Um, <laughs> all eight of them. All, all eight, all eight of my yeah. nipples. Uh, just feeding dogs all over town. 
I, I, I'm there with you. I did appreciate it a little bit more because I thought that this one was was more free flowing and the combat was more exciting. And the fact that you could swing around an area, even though it wasn't around the city, felt nice to me. Uh, but it also suffered from the fact that it was on the PlayStation. There weren't analog sticks necessarily if you were playing it because yep. it was the original PlayStation controller and the camera was was atrocious in my mind. I'm giving this one a two and a half out of four. Okay, two and a half out of four. Well, that's a four and a half out of eight. Obviously, a lot lower than Metacritic score, but yes. I don't know. I'm kind of excited to go back and play this game. I'm excited as well. I think I think there'll be, you know, we've developed more of an affinity towards those classic beat 'em up games. Yeah. And I think this will be a part of that as well as a look back at what the impression of Spider-Man was before the movies got big. You know, right. it was a different character. Yep. Uh, it kind of grew in and evolved over time into what we now know as the Tom Holland version or yeah. portrayal of Spider-Man. So we'll see. This will be a little bit of a time capsule and I'm excited to get back to it. Totally. I keep thinking about the Incredible Hulk game that we played. Yes. And Ultimate it was, Destruction. Yeah. And that was one of the ones where got low score in the beginning and then we're like mm, you know there's some kind of stuff about it that was kind of fun 100 so i wonder if it's going to be like that let's see let's see maybe we're just too stupid to appreciate it yeah Andrew. let's go thwip on over to the other side and we'll see you guys while we're playing this game well done thanks here we go here we go division and unlike me in my 30s never soft always hard no unlike me in my 30s oh Neversoft's too extreme. Yeah, it it Chill. almost was impossible to think of it away from Tony Hawk. Yeah, chill like, the fuck out, dude. Almost like the whole company was built around it. You know? Yeah, what I mean? well, kind of was. It'd be like like think about Rockstar without GTA, right? Yeah. And this is when we would suggest if you're only listening. Go watch over on YouTube. Yeah. You can see Andrew and I dance to the Spider-Man theme song. So the 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 topography the of the uh of the name is like is perfect uh like it's from the old comics yes um and then they use the original version of the song it sounds like it yeah well maybe uh, no there's but kind with of electric guitar electric, yeah this is like uh i like spider-man like i like my bob dylan pre-electric you know what i mean yeah absolutely i mean come on you're a folk singer act like it yeah that was pathetic sold out it's disgusting yeah uh, so Cute. we got our options. Kid mode. Kid mode. When, <laughs> you, when you go to kid mode, Spider-Man. Kid mode. Why the, does the voice keep changing? It's like to different villains. Spider-Man spray, sprays a little web at it. Kid mode. And someone's, it's probably the different villain saying kid oh mode. Are they taunting me? Kid mode. Okay, now I'm getting scared. We'll go normal. How about yeah. that? Kid mode. Oh, shit. <laughs> wonder what kid mode is. So here's the Science Expo, baby. 2000. In Look at the that. Future. Look at that guy and not think. He's a good guy. Oh, Doc Ock, of course. Look at those glasses. Look at he the got them from the Good Boy Museum. <laughs> he looks like the fucking Hulk. Why is he oh so my big? God. So animation is fine. Yeah. Uh, design is very of the era. The yeah. textures are very kind of basic. Uh, Dr. Octavius. Let's get past. Let's Everything some, is just very flat. Game. You know what I mean? Yes. Mouse don't move. Eyes don't move. Some nice uh, uh, little uh, imitations of Spider-Man comics as we go. Yeah, Spider-Man cool. 1. Wall Street crashes a bank robbery. That's Stan Lee. Stan Lee, Stan Lee doing, the, uh, doing the narration. Is there like a um, like a vegetarian rap joke about Peter Parker? Or a Spider-Man that really cares about animals maybe? Peter Parker. Or a cop that's very famous at arresting PETA people. <laughs> oh, that's the PETA Parker. The PETA Parker. Or driving them around town and parking them right in front of their meetings. Yeah, the bus driver. Oh, oh, so we cat. got Black Cat coming here to say Whoa, hi. Oh, Black Cat. She Jesus has some boobs. Christ. Look Is at him. This, like, he's like oh, like he's like bending down to get breast to level get a, with to her. Get breast like, level. Whoa. This is so typical of this era where it's like a gratuitous shot. Oh, so here we already got some camera issues because you can't control the camera, which is a little bit annoying. But the the web okay. setting mechanic is all right. I think I'm about to kick someone's butthole. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. No. Hey. So I got some punching, some kicking. Oh, yeah, you're right. You do have ammo, which is annoying. That sucks. But remember, hopefully it's very plentiful and we don't have to worry. Remember about that was the time too. we're like, yeah, he's not. He has. It's weird if he's actually a spider in the comics. That must have hurt. Oh, oh I just cool. wrapped him up. I just wrapped him up. Bit of a camera issue where I can't see him, but I wrapped up my own hands as well. Explain so I that. Can, Explain well, how that. Yeah. Doesn't that make it more 
like soft soft yeah well like never maybe, never soft. maybe it's like maybe it's like uh like boxing gloves it's just so you don't hurt your hands mm -hmm. like it's for me not them. you it's for me not you so swinging from building to building feels all right combat is pretty generic paint by numbers but uh honestly uh some clipping through the walls a little bit better feeling than I kind of expected. Yeah. There. So, oh wow! So the Holy. police helicopters are going after a villainous helicopter, and then they get <laughs> shot down. So we've just witnessed death in mm -hmm. this game. Mm -hmm. Important to note, and you follow the, the spider compass, his most famous gadget, Spidey compass. It still only points out north. It doesn't need to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, he didn't tell me anything. Yeah, he's so we've picked up a bunch of health kits already, and then there's one w next to a question mark. You hit the question yeah. mark, and it's just like, oh, these will help restore my health. Yeah, it's like, like I knew that. I yeah. knew that already, Spidey. Hey. hey. Oh, wow. You hit someone off a building, so he's dead for yeah, sure. Yeah, that guy's dead. You know what? The, this is the, the typical issue with games of this era, where the controls were so bad mm -hmm. uh and the camera was so bad that they just had to make combat super easy yes right because otherwise it would be impossible impossible save game progress oh andrew says no who needs it <laughs> living on the edge living on the edge what if i want to play this later can you tell us later if you're going to yes i will if you you said that in the past have you have you ever gone back and played a game oh yeah for sure okay for sure like well last week i talked about how i went back and played spy hunter Oh yeah, so, that's true. That. It's it's crazy that there was an era of gaming in 3D when you couldn't control where the camera was going. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, oh, yeah. it's baffling to think about that how simple that is. There are people who weren't alive to experience that and are now playing Fortnite all day, oh. spending their parents' money on upgrades that don't do anything for them. They're illegal. Scams. Illegal. You want to get the new B Balenciaga Jordan Cross brands, guys? Oh, Jesus Murphy. There you go. Oh, all the way oh. to the ceiling. Oh, that's cool. Oh, this hurts my brain. Yeah, the uh, so we're maneuvering around the roof with Spider-Man trying to get into a vent. We got it. We uh, got it. We got it. We got it. But it's no really, one to say we can't. It would be a hilarious if this were a movie watching a Spider-Man yeah. move like this. <laughs> well, the AI just choosing not to notice that you're there. Okay, so we can unlock doors by shooting webs. Okay. Oh, oh no. Andrew opened one door to let enemies into the building and then another one to let them into his closed <laughs> off room that he's in. Cute. And he's going to go for round three. Probably let more enemies into the building. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nope. Civilians. Oh, no. <laughs> now you're introducing civilians to the scenario. <laughs> oh, and the, the enemies just gave up on you. They're like, we fired a couple rounds into that empty I'm room. I'm sitting in a glass office and they're like, let's protect this door. Yeah, yeah. With our back turned With to the door. With our back to the door. You know what's funny is he moves in this game more fluidly than uh, what I've seen videos in the Avengers game when he, yes. that he just showed up in. Okay. I can suspend my disbelief for health that okay. like people would have first aid kits around. Oh yeah. How are you picking up the uh, web shooters? The web shooters. Yeah. That's supposed to be like proprietary like technology yeah. that I'd have designed. Maybe Spider-Man just oh, hides it. I came it. in this way. He came in this way. Maybe, maybe Spider-Man hides it throughout the city in every building of New York yeah. City. And once in every office, he goes to them and goes, hey, if I have to come by, can you keep this around? <laughs> and they're like, you got a Spidey. Wow. I, I mean, we don't need to harp on it too much more, but that camera makes things a lot more difficult. I, I, you're guessing. You're just guessing. You're very much guessing. They look like they're praying to him. Oh, the, there's hostages kneeling down in front of someone. Yeah. Thankfully, they're, the, the hostage keepers are shooting you first and not the hostages. The hostages because Otherwise, they'd be dead. You'd be bad at your job. Oh, that's cool. I'm on the ceiling and I could aim down at at the guys. They they don't know that I'm up here. Oh my god, maneuvering on the ceiling is Dude, hard. Dude, I told you. I Holy told you. Holy shit! Because the camera keeps flipping, and I I don't know what f forward is. What what is happening, Mikey? Andrew, get off the roof. What are you, Lionel Richie? Get out of here. Well, hello. I'm gonna kill some people. <laughs> this Spider Man's famous thing: oh. killing people. Well, I did kick someone off of a fucking rooftop. Yeah, we yeah we did we did definitely murder somebody already. I don't know this the game combat, is. I, I I'll say the combat feels ahead of its time. Yeah, like it's, like it's yeah. way more fluid. You can there's jump kicks. Using the web is interesting. I but I will say like for a game of Spider Man, we are walking around an office building a lot. That's true. It's That's true. Like avoiding doing the cool things like uh, climbing around walls because it's just hard to navigate. Yeah, and like the other. Oh, that's cool. Coming off of the uh, coming off the wall, doing a little, the wall, front, do a little uh, front flip. 
I, you know what though? I am enjoying the interplay between webbing people and beating them up. Okay. It just, it, it feels very Spider-Man-y from a combat sense. Mm -hmm. You know, I'd love to be able to swing around like in the, in the modern games in tight spaces, you can still swing around things and kind of find ways to y incorporate your swings with combat right. in, in a way that's a little bit easier or that, that you can't do quite as much in this. Oh, whoa, I lift up the bomb. What do I do with it? Question mark. Black Hat's like, you got to press. Press square to pick up objects. Okay. Oh, I've already gotten that part out. Is there a garbage chute? <laughs> where do I put this? Yeah, where do you put this? Oh, there's, oh, it's a safe. I got to put it in the you safe. Put it in the safe. You stupid fucking idiot. This oh. is actually really cool. Oh. I'm going to throw this safe in there. There you go. It's a bomb. Right, so I'm going to throw this safe in the bomb. Uh, my and I'm going to uh, practice some, some web slinging <laughs> things. Here we go. I, I don't like that there. I can still see the bomb. Yeah, it looked like it clipped through the door a little bit there. Not oh, this time. oh, it didn't show us getting out. There's no Metroid Prime, like, escape before it all explodes. Oh. Well, you did neat. it. I did it. You did it, Mikey. Save game progress? Okay, no. Well, fuck me then. I'm not playing this game anymore. Okay, Andrew's giving me the finger. Sting of the Scorpion. He's saving, saving Dr. Jonah Jameson. <laughs> Dr. Dr. Jameson. Pre oh, oh, my God. My Peter God. Parker's face looks awful. He looks like Tom Cruise in 20 years. <laughs> he honestly does because he still looks young yeah with the same facial structure but it just looks wrapped around his skull just more and more plastic surgery is gonna make him look weirder yeah, and weirder yeah. like the joker when he pins his face back on him in the new 52 comics yes you know he's talking to you i love that stanley is the narrator i know okay wow i really had to travel quite a, quite far yeah, thankfully the scorpion's taking his time walking, presumably walking towards J. <laughs> Jonah Jameson. Just got him cornered in his building somewhere. What are you going to do now? What are you buying? Whoa. What? Oh, there, there's the Daily Bugle. You can see yep. the Daily Bugle. Yep. It's a new millennium. Lots of high tech. There may be some way. I love the different iterations of J. Jonah Jameson we've got over the years. Yep. My favorite is the Alex Jones version that yep. you get in the 2018 It's the most realistic it version. It really is, yeah. What the very Jay futuristic uh, Scorpion? Yeah, well, the take you ruined my life. Like he's blaming news media for ruining Scorpion's life. What happened? Wouldn't there? be the first. Yeah, it's true. Wouldn't be the first if a reptile person blamed mainstream media. <laughs> but how webhead? Spider Man. I asked for the police, and I get this. Oh wow, Amazing. J Jonah Jameson just being J Jonah. Okay, so he, it's almost like a little escort thing, eh? Because you got a, uh, you got a. Uh, Ow. A health bar for J. Jonah Jameson. Oh, fuck. Yeah, targeting a little bit hard. J. Jonah Jameson's hiding under a desk as you try to beat up Scorpion. Oh, my God. Stings you with his tail. Scorpion's there better be that, some Andrew. health around here. Yeah, I'd wrap him up and then go punch him because the webs aren't actually doing damage to him. Um, He's slowly ambling his way through the God room. God damn it. Andrew's trying to target him and instead is just kind of shooting webs at the walls. This is actually what spiders do is they just kind of get webs on all my walls. So this makes sense. Andrew, you throw, throw in a little bit of a web to, to hold up Scorpion and then jump kicking him. Damn it. But he recovers real quick, eh? He really does. Oh, f oh you can pick up uh, furniture and throw it at Scorpion. That's neat. Oh, does okay. barely any damage. This, this is a boss fight that's going to last a while, eh? He also has electricity? And he has electricity. They fly now? They fly now? Ugh. Palpatine's still alive? <laughs> Guys, I have bad news. <laughs> um, yeah, this... That's the sign of a good boss fight, eh? Just cheesing? Just cheesing. The only way you can beat him is to cheese him. Oh, thank oh, God. Oh, Jay's escaping. J. Jonah Jameson's escaping. Uh, there had to be a cue for health or something like that. Yeah, there's got to be something to pick up because you're pretty uh, pretty low on health. On everything. Although, if you did cheese it, like, this is very doable. Uh -oh. No! No! No, oh, Andrew got it. stung by the scorpion's tail. Oh, man. Right, let me retry this. Yeah, try it. No, you man, can't, you can't like, stun lock him or anything, and he no. knocks you down, and you're down. You gotta attack and run. You gotta. Oh, wow, his tail is uh, effective. <laughs> Woo! It's I guess, hard. though, to be honest, this is kind of how Spider-Man would, would fight him. Okay. Yeah, no. I doesn't mean I shouldn't, though. Nice combo! Little combo breaker. C -c -c combo this is the only way to do it i'm telling you man who do you think you're talking to uh cheese man andrew bascom mr cheese the cheese man cheese this is yeah you know what i could definitely do it this way it's just not very fun no it's not fun he's hiding behind 
He's hiding behind an invincible chair. It's not my problem that that chair is so invincible. <laughs> dun -dun 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 -dun. You have a lot of webs left as compared to when I did. I'm going to throw something at him. But he's not looking. So that Man. maybe is the strategy. Let him attack J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, and then how, why are we upset if he dies? Well, yeah, we hate him. But we're on the side of good, Mikey. We're on the side of good. Speak uh -oh. for yourself. This is so dumb. This is so dumb. I hate it, but I'm also very into beating him. <laughs> <laughs> I've never cared more oh, about no. anything. Oh, no, my God. I got, this, is, this is me and a Dark Souls boss, though. It's like, I know what to do. Just stick to the plan, and you're good. And instead, I get uh, get a little cocky. Oh, you almost ate that one. Man, he recovers quickly. Well, he is a human scorpion. Oh, you got only a little bit left. Oh, no. No, me. Oh, no that's fuck it. This. I'm so uninterested <laughs> in trying that again. I'm so uninterested. You in just that again. 10 seconds ago being like, I'm so into beating I this I could game. do it. Okay. You want to give it one shot? I'm going to give it a shot. Do it. I hate boss fights that last this long. It's so it's sick. so it's so annoying. Yeah. Why does J. Jonah Jameson take less damage than you do when you get hit by this guy? Yeah, I'm a Spider-Man. And you're a Spider-Man. He's just a regular man. He's a cigar man. <laughs> also some like real Hitler mustache-esque vibes. Yeah. Yeah, it suits him. It dies. I wonder if there's a, a way that you could guarantee with some of these that you'd be able to get in more of a combo because then you could work them down pretty quick. But every so often, he he attacks you real quick. Actually, this is going pretty well. Now we're not even uh, hitting him with web. We're just jumping around him. Oh. We are. You are. No, it's a team. Yeah, it's a team thing. I showed you how to do it. Go get J. Joe Jameson. Yeah, you stupid idiot. Get distracted trying to hit J. Jonah Jameson. Throw a big old piece of furniture at him. Which does about as much damage as a Spider-Man punch for some reason. I don't know. Well, how much is a Spider-Man punch? You know, like a Deskworth? That's true. <laughs> uh, or an Aaronworth. Mikey Deskworth? I think you got this one, man. You got a lot of health left. Okay. What is this fucking Robert Durst? Stop jinxing me. <clears throat> oh, now I know you're jinxing me. <laughs> so would I be really good at Dark Souls? Honestly, if you can, yes, if you can find a pattern and stick to it and not break it, even though you're getting a little bit impatient, then yeah. Like, patience is all Dark Souls is. It's not difficulty. Oh, he almost tried to go over top of it. Ooh, the Sylvester Stallone special. <laughs> Flip that hat backwards. Flip that hat Truck backwards, driver. Scorpion Man. Scorpion's just kind of roaming the corner of the room now. I think you've given him a concussion. <laughs> he doesn't look like he's doing okay. I don't feel so good. <laughs> And I don't know what everyone's complaining about. This one is more so hit. Easy. Very easy. Boom. Shakalaka. Andrew did it. Andrew no, did no, it. no, 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 no. By saving my life. But it look how much bigger I am than him. Oh, you're just too clever. Like in general, like look at the size of his fists. That's true. Wow. So J. Jonah Jameson's turning you in. Shoot him now. Shoot him. JJ, you're out of the wheel. I mean it. Why is he so mean? I mean, you just saved his life. Yeah. You saw that. Yeah. Power corrupts. Power does. Oh, here's Daredevil. Yes. I love Daredevil. It would be great if in this cutscene he were facing the wrong way. <laughs> How am I supposed to know you're the real Daredevil? How am I supposed to know you're the real Daredevil? I like the idea if he was like, Spider-Man. And he's like, yes. Oh, you found me. And he goes, I've said that 200 times. <laughs> I've said that on every rooftop yeah. in New York City for the last three days. Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Daredevil is a great fucking character. Though. I love Daredevil. That was good. All right. All right. Yeah. You want to talk about this Let's game? Let's do it. Let's, Let's talk about this it. game. Did you save it or no? No. Well, wait till you hear my answer on whether I want to play it again. And welcome back to the Retrograde. Thwip. 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 Whoa. Ah. Oh, my God. Kabam. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Zazinga. <laughs> Bazinga. 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 Yeah. That was my favorite part of the, the, the game. Was, was, uh, the was cast of being made through? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They all showed up. Penny. They all showed up. Um, the others... Have you ever watched an episode of Big Bang Theory? I don't know that I've ever seen a full episode. Yeah, I mean, and I know that when I say that, people will be like, oh, well, that's why you don't like it. You got to get to know the characters. Yeah. And I say, no, I don't. Uh, that show is absolute dog shit. I, 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 am, I am usually one for saying you got to watch something to judge it. Um, not to completion because I think there's like 15 seasons. Yes. But um, no, with that one, I'm very comfortable going, no, that, that's 
dog shit. I've, I've watched enough. I've watched more than the equivalent of a full episode. You know, when it's on the background or like if someone I know is watching You're at a it, dentist's office. I'm at a dentist's <laughs> office. Yeah, which is, I mean, that's where it gets most its play. DMV. DMV. That's the weird thing is, is no one knows this about it, but no one actually watched that show at their home. The reason why it was so popular and kept getting renewed is because all the DMV offices across the country mm-hmm. were playing it in yeah. dentist's office. They got a big contract with the DMV. They did. And it just, you know, it worked out that way. You it know? worked out uh, great for them. Good for them. Whoever wins, we lose. <laughs> you know, I think about it all the time because uh, in the <laughs> in the uh, the beginning of that show, there. Uh, so in Canada, we have something called Much Music. It's, yes. it's like MTV. It's the same thing, and we have VJs as well. And and one of those one of those on there w- decided to become an actor, and she's in the pilot episode of Big Bang Theory. And then after the pilot, they recast her to. The, uh, whatever her name is, and the one that is currently there. And uh, you got to imagine she missed out on $50 million. I couldn't, I I would legit be considering killing myself. I don't know what that would accomplish at that point. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Well, but what are you ever going to accomplish that would be bigger than what you just missed out on? Well, I, you know, you'd have to take a hard turn to like indie gritty movies. Yes. You know, like maybe I not, might not be the most uh, financially successful person, but I'm going to make art. Yes. You know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. I didn't want that anyway. I, I'm glad I didn't get 100%. Oh, yeah, 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 bazinga. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, crowd yeah, yeah, laughs. Yeah. Fuck you. It does feel like, you know, I sit here and making, make fun of the show. I just, I don't like it. It's not my humor. I think, I think they, it's just lazy. Cause like all the jokes they make about nerds. It's like, Hey, I am a nerd. Those jokes you're making. We don't make those fucking jokes. Like mm-hmm. this is, this is, there's different levels, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fair, fair. Yeah. Um, but it, it just feels like, like I can sit here and, and, and throw stones. I'll never make anything. I, a, a, an iota of a fraction of, a, of, of, of the success that that thing had. Yeah. But if you're on the show, is there a part of them that's like, yeah, this is garbage, but like, it's a job a or, thousand... or do you think a part of them is like, Sorry. this is the best thing ever? No, uh, well, I think if if any of them had the the second feeling, it it got beaten out of them in the first couple of years. Yeah, I, there's no way you get to any show, and it could be the greatest show of all time, and you get to season seven, even seven four, yes. and you're like, oh, okay. I'm, I'm just doing this for a paycheck. Yes, you literally could be on the Sopranos in season four, which it sounds like some of them did, and went, oh, okay, fine, I'll just get paid really? million dollars an episode. Oh, yeah, wow. I just think it's like any job; you just get disillusioned a little bit to the process that you can't enjoy the final product. Uh, yeah, one of those grass is always greener kind of things. Maybe I uh, explain. Uh, well, so I have a house mm. and, uh, in my neighbor's house, okay. he, he, uh, in the a, neighbor's house, in the neighbor's house, he has turf like AstroTurf. Oh yeah. And I'm like, I see it through the windows. And right. I'm like, how the fuck does that get so green? Right. And my grass yeah. is it's well, it's concrete. So it's gray. Right, right. And I'm sitting there looking at the concrete mm-hmm. and I'm like, this isn't green at all. Right. Not even, it's not even grass. So, and I'm not saying that I want to have AstroTurf in my mm-hmm. place, but objectively speaking, the grass is greener on, on his side of things. Okay, so in this explanation, the grass is greener when neither of you have real grass. Yeah. It's just more about the color. It's more, I, I don't, I'm not, I don't, I'm not, I'm I, I like, I don't, I don't even, it's not for me. Like I'm not even trying to make this. I like, if it's, you're talking metaphors, right. I'm not. No, this is just, this is my life. I, I was shifting, shifting gears and telling you a story. Okay. I, I know I said grass is always greener. Right. We were talking about big bang theory, yes, but I was like, that. You know what? Never mind that. Mm-hmm. I got this fucking neighbor over here <laughs> that I fucking, fucking hate. hate I hate this guy. He's always making fun of my concrete house. <laughs> I'm making fun of his astroturf house. It sticks and stones, man. Uh, but the wolf comes around, and guess who? Uh, <laughs> guess who survives? Yeah, absolutely, it's not the astroturf house. <laughs> yeah. What happened to that neighbor? Eaten by a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we play Spider Man, uh, Mikey. Yes. Uh, Initial thoughts on this game. We, we, I really actually did like playing this game because I think it gave a lot of opportunity for us to talk about it actively as we did it. Because it was so fucking easy. Yeah. It was I, easy. I, I, you know what the thing, the thing I immediately was struggling with with this game is the controls are fine. The camera is not great. No. Um, sometimes the controls get messy when you're like climbing walls and stuff like yeah. that. Yes. The combat is fine. Fine. You can use your webs. It's fine. The boss fights are, are annoying. It's Spider-Man, which is good. Yeah. You see Daredevil. You see uh, uh, Scorpion. You see J. Black John Cat. Jameson. Yeah. You see Black Cat. Great. I just didn't enjoy it. I wanted so heavily to be like, okay, turn the corner and enjoy the minute-to-minute gameplay. Yeah. <laughs> but none of it was enjoyable. It wasn't unenjoyable. Yeah. It was just so... It felt like... 
It felt like stepping into a, a pool that is exact room temperature mm-hmm. and not even knowing that you're in water. It just felt like I'm just, this is, I'm not experiencing anything. Yeah. Well, it's like, I, like, hey, we're going to make a stew. I'm like, oh, I like stews. That's yeah. great. And we're going to make with sausage. I'm like, I like sausage. Hell That's yeah, great. baby. We're going to have like a little bit of seasoning in there. Oh, seasoning sounds good. Brussels sprouts. Okay. I like Brussels sprouts. Okay. Yeah. That could yeah, probably yeah, work yeah. in it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, chocolate chips. And you're like, well, I'm sorry. What now? <laughs> And I'm like, you like all these things independently. And I'm like, yeah, maybe I just don't like them together. Well, see, the thing is, my I the 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 struggle I have isn't necessarily with the fact that it has all these things in it. It's just that the end it it would be like if they told you all that stuff was in it and it tasted like water. It just <laughs> feels bland. I'm like, I love all of these ingredients, but I don't taste anything when I'm playing it. That's interesting. When I'm playing this soup, I don't <laughs> taste anything. <laughs> This soup, this soup tastes like nothing. Tastes like water. This Spider-Man say, game. Hey, Daredevil, that's the wrong soup. <laughs> I, I, I agree with you because on premise and in writing, you're like, hey, yeah, it's pretty exciting. Metacritic score is super high. Sure. All these characters are in there. Uh, and even coming out of it going, hey, w- was the camera bad? Yeah, but you know, not unplayable. Was the controls good? Yeah, it was pretty good. The fight is good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. And how excited do you feel? None, not at all. Because then there's the opposite all the time too, where the, where there are serious red flags with games. So you're like, this is bad. This is bad. Yes. But you know what? I kind of want to go back and play it. Yes. It's weird. It's a it's a weird combination of things. I think it it you know after the scorpion fight, you do get that cool scene where it's uh, uh, almost like Crash Bandicoot esque, where there's the 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 helicopter yeah. shooting missiles at you, and you're running kind of towards the camera, and that's cool. Mm-hmm. And it changes up the mechanics a little bit and makes it almost more like a quick time event and makes you feel like you're doing something a little bit more acrobatic. But even then, it just feels so generic. Like, maybe it's just the fact that this game did change combat in superhero games and uh, it was at an era where it couldn't be insanely innovative, but everyone just copied this 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 uh, mm-hmm. structure. So I feel like I've played this game a million times. Right. I feel like I can play it nowadays, uh, but in more tightly controlled uh, games mm-hmm. with, with better story potentially and, and more excitement and better graphics. So as I'm playing beat by beat, I'm just not feeling anything. I'm not feeling any excitement and I'm playing Spider-Man, which is something I am very excited about. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's not Pokemon snap where in spite of the fact that the gameplay is kind of bizarre, I'm really enjoying it because it really hits you over the head with all the Pokemon ness. Even when it's saying like, here's yeah. Scorpion, here's Black Cat, here's this and that. I'm just not feeling it. I don't know what it the, is. It's hard to put into this, words. You know, and like, whereas other games play it safe and you're like, ah, it's okay because it was Spider-Man. It's yeah. This did take a swing. Oh, Andrew. Thank you. Thwip. Th- 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 instead of <laughs> clapping, instead of golf clapping. Thwip, 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 thwip. I... I, I did like that they tried to do stuff, you know, and that and that they tried to like advance the gameplay a little bit. The fighting was better. The swinging from building to building was like interesting, you know, like at least they were trying stuff. They go right. inside, they go outside, they turn right. into quick time events. There's bosses like I appreciate and respect all that. But the, just the end product is so yeah bland. I think it is. It's just so like stale. Yeah. You know, where you're like, oh, OK, fine, I yeah. guess. Yeah. I don't know. I think this score is going to be very interesting because. At what do you reward here? The elements that go into the game or the final product or how it makes you feel. Yeah, I, I agree. Let's let's do because there's a lot I want to say about that point specifically, but I do want to loop that into my review. So are you ready to, to give our, our ratings on this game? Like I've never been more ready in my life. I Well, listen, I'm glad to hear you say that because we're going to jump right into it. And now in the retro scores, Andrew, you give this a two. I give it I two and a half for a total of four and a half out of eight. We're now going to rate it as this game holds up in the modern day against the likes of modern games. And Andrew, why don't you start us off out of okay. four minutes? Thank you. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Hello, everyone. My name is Andrew Bascom. Hey, Andrew. Andrew. My name is Mikey. Well, I didn't ask. Thank you. But okay. uh, I'm Sorry. giving... Okay. Is that I'm going to be giving my review oh, in the modern Spider-Man? day. No, this is not a two-way conversation. Oh. This is rhetorical. Is this like a TED Talk? This is... Yeah, sure. It's like a TED Talk. But your name's Andrew. Not everyone has to be named Edward that does a TED Talk. Ted Holland? Ted, 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 Ted Edward? Holland. Ted Holland. Ted, Edward Norton? Is Edward short for Ted? Yeah. Sorry, I have a question. No, are you Ted taking is questions? short for Edward. Are you taking questions? That's a question and no, we're not. Oh. Well, if you were, wow. just something you may want to address. Uh, this isn't a question, it's a note. Uh, the, a lot of the audience I'm hearing rumbling, they're confused about the Edward Ted thing. 
Did they, did, I'm, this is up for the audience. Please don't speak to me again. Okay. Is, as an audience, did you understand that Ted is short for Edward? I'm talking to the wall right now, <laughs> and I did not understand that. I hope someone hears me who's in the room and can do something about it. Okay, good. Well, I taught you something. That wasn't the point of my TED Talk. That was a freebie. Here is now my review for Spider-Man, a video game. Thank you. You're freaking me out. You're freaking me right out, Mikey. I don't like it. That's part of my review. Stop it. <laughs> okay. So this game, it, like we're saying, it, it, there are parts of it where you're like, oh, this is a lot of fun. Um, and we talked about the video game elements of it, the controls, the fighting, the, you know, the actual swinging, the actual graphics are really kind of not bad. They're like placed on top of like big boxes, but wait, what the hell are you laughing at? <laughs> I, I, I'm thinking about ways to fuck with you, <laughs> but I don't want to because it's going to derail us. And it um, made me laugh, made me chuckle. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, that's, that'll be an Easter egg for one day <laughs> when they do the oral history of this later. Um, so you talk about the video gamey aspects of this and you're like, you can break it down element by element by element. Okay, that's interesting enough. But one of the reasons why I would go back and play this game, why I would be interested in this game is because it speaks to an era of Marvel and it speaks to a comic book universe that doesn't exist anymore. Even between the, the characters, the costumes, the voices, the way they speak to each other, the, the typefaces, the everything is unique to this. And you'll never see anything like this again. The MCU has dominated popular culture and is so financially successful, everything will kind of look like that, which of all the things I like about the MCU, it's drab. You know what I mean? And it's kind of like, everything's got to be reality-based or right, we'll just cut right. storylines out. I really kind of liked this part of it. Daredevil pops up in a shiny red suit. Exactly. And he's like, hey, what's up? And you're like, oh, I get to talk to you. This yes. is kind of fun. It's better than I thought it would be. It is actually kind of fun at times. And while this is by no means a good game, I, I think there's much better games going out there. I think this was actually kind of fun and I would play it again. I'm going to give it two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah. It's nice. I like well, that. Higher than I thought I'd give it. It's it's a it's a fair score. And I agree with what you're saying. This era of comic booky comic books, mm -hmm. as opposed to a more uh, uh, modern, realistic comic book, you know, you're not, you're not going to get the blue and yellow Wolverine yeah. outfit in the next X-Men movies. It's just not going to happen. Yeah. You know, you'll get that in one of the video games maybe as an Easter egg, but not, not in, in the movie. I agree with that. The one issue I have is there were still a couple games left in that era pre MCU that can scratch that itch. And I think do it a lot better. You know, we talked about the number, the sheer number of Spider-Man games we were getting at this point in time. Many of them called Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I think that one would say too many. <laughs> one would say too many. I think that because of that, we have an option to play a Spider-Man game from this era that is less drab MCU aesthetic that you're talking about, but is a much better system and much better controlled that this is never the one I'm going to pick yeah. up. It's playable, but yep. it's so, it would be like, it would be like, why would you rate NHL 15 a four out of four today when yeah. we have NHL 22? Yeah. It just feels like it's been done better. It's only been improved upon. And even a matter of like a couple years later, um, you're, there's no open world. Yeah. The, the, the swinging isn't very fun. And that stripped down feeling knowing now what we have, like this is very much a review that I'm giving because I know how good Spider-Man games are now and yeah. even how much better they got a couple years later. Mm -hmm. I'm giving this one a one and a half out of yeah. four. Um, and again, it's not because it's a bad game. Mm -hmm. It's just because it's so bland. And if you wait another year or two, you get Spider-Man, uh, the movie game, and then Spider-Man 2, which was the game that changed everything completely in yeah. 2004, giving you the open world version of New York, uh, which is a game I think I would rate a lot more highly than this one. Uh, so yeah, as I said, one and a half out of four for oh, Spider-Man. There we go. So one and a half and a two and a half. What is that? Three, four. So it's a four and a half, eight and a half out of 16. Eight and a half out of 16 is honestly lower than I thought it was going to get. Too. Me I, too. I, and I obviously I, I I need to share some of the blame there because I could have given it more and I chose not to. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think it is just this feeling of this is any other beat em up with a Spider Man skin, uh, and there's only so much punch punch kick that you can do before you get a little bit bored of that formula. Uh, so I'm okay with it being an eight and a half because it's just so down the middle. It's a straight yeah. shot down the no, middle. No, I agree with you. I think ultimately that's probably the right score considering we will go play probably other Spider Man games in the future and yes. you know and we're gonna see what that gets to and and this gives us a little bit of a cushion as well. Yeah, I agree. Uh, but I guess that, that that leaves us with only one thing, Andrew. It's it's the rewards. We got to get to these rewards. 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 What are we rewarding? It well, for? it spent a lot of money. It's got some PC optimum points that it can uh, it can spend all of its. <laughs> money on maybe some amex points it also did find my cat and i told him i'd give him a hundred dollars that's true yeah. did you give it did you give it did you give it 
<laughs> what is this? Did you give it? I, I did. I, I gave it. A, I, I gave it. I gave it good. You gave it. <laughs> okay. Well, let's let the band warm up. Let's let's let You've them been waiting for it all year. The most glamorous award ceremony of the week, ladies and gentlemen, the Grady's. Oh, oh wow! Just oh. going beautiful. Incredible. I always call it gorgeous. It's not gorgeous. I can't see it. No, it's I'm like daredevil to this well, thing. <laughs> I think I think gorgeous does is not always sight based. I guess that's true. No. Is it? No. A gorgeous a, song. Yeah. Gorgeous does feel like it's it's mm. it's maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you're maybe sexualizing that wrong. word too much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true too. That's true too. Yeah. Well, let's uh, let's go ahead and find out uh, what this game is won. Uh, Elliot Elliot's. Elliot's shown up in his Spider Man suit. Yeah, pretty which is good. Nice. Are there pockets on there? No? no. Oh, you just got a bundle of webs in your hand. Oh God. You want to. Untie. Oh, you can't put webs on paper, Ugh. Elliot. How many times do we have to tell you you can't put webs on paper? You got the envelope all fucked up now because you tried to. What an idiot! Can you talk to him? Because he honestly, to me. honestly, I don't even know what you want me to say, Elliot. Can Can you read it still or no? Can you read it? Oh, you, you memorized it? it? Okay, you memorized you memorized it. Memorized it. so you one? didn't need the paper at all. Didn't need the paper. Okay, yeah, I, I feel like it's a prop anyway. All let's right. Let's hear what this game won. Oh wow. man! Wow! Big okay. surprise! Yeah, seriously, right? Big surprise. Uh, so obviously that means that it gets uh, crickets, yeah. which, which means no no formal awards. Yeah, doesn't get the Chevy Silverado like a rock, Dwayne Johnson <laughs> Johnson Family Trophy, Hall of Fame Trophy. Doesn't get the UV Bowl Memorial Dead Pixel Trophy. Doesn't get the New Mexican Landfill Trophy or any of the other trophies yep. or awards that we have. Uh, instead, we get these two custom envelopes yep. that Elliot's yep. handing us, yep. and we get to give this one. Okay, I got I got one here. Okay, yeah, what do you got? Okay. With no power comes lower scores. Oh, oh it doesn't feel very powerful in this. That's game. a very good one. I like yeah, that one thank actually. You very much. Um, uh, here we go. Thank okay, you. Thank I'm you. going to. Uh, you. I'm going to give this one. It's the. Uh, uh, it's the the nanotechnology award. Oh, because it's it's going to take a lot more work for this to be improved, and unfortunately, this version is the version of Spider Man without it. Ah, and in the modern go. day, it just can't compete. No, it cannot. Not against I, Tom Holland. No, <laughs> with his chisel, good looks and charisma, <laughs> he's. I look at him. I'm like. God damn you. Yeah, Zendaya is a lucky person. Um, okay, well, that's it. We played Spider-Man. We are going to see the movie soon. Yes. Whether we could talk about it or not soon, that is up for a grab still. We don't know. But if you go see the movie, we want to hear from you. At Retrograde Mikey, at Retrograde Andy. If you go see the movie- Don't spoil it for us. Uh, don't spoil it for us. <laughs> Send us uh, some emails with questions that you have, and maybe we'll try to address them oh, on the Mushroom Club. that be fun. Uh, we won't open them. Just title it something like Spider-Man question. You can reach us at the Retrograde Podcast at gmail.com. Send us your questions. We'll address them. When we do have time to get to it, It'll either be on the uh, Mushroom Club on our yep. Patreon or it'll be on a regular episode, which will come out a little bit after uh, the movie comes out. But bear with us. We got to work around some shit uh, <laughs> and then we'll be back uh, as normal soon. Oh, we cannot wait to talk to you soon. Thank you so much for listening. We love every single one of you. My name is Andrew Bascom, and with me as always is the bad boy of podcasting, Mr. Bebop himself. Mikey Aaronworth. This is the Retrograde Podcast. Game over. Bazinga. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to the Retrograde Podcast. We look forward to recording this podcast all week long, and we hope you guys look forward to listening to it. You know how we got into retro video game podcasting for the money and the babes? We're really in it for the ratings and reviews. Money is ratings. Reviews are babes. Please subscribe, rate, and review wherever you enjoy podcasts. For any business inquiries, you can always email the Retrograde Podcast at gmail.com. You can find us on Twitter at Retrograde Pod. And you can find Andrew on Twitter at Retrograde Andy. And then Mikey at Retrograde Mikey. Instagram at The Retrograde Podcast. And remember, Find us on Patreon, patreon.com slash the retrograde podcast for all of your non-essential but very much enjoyable content. We don't ask that you give us much, apart from joining our Patreon. But what we do ask is that you join this community that we've grown. Also, yeah. give us some of your blood. <laughs> yeah. I want some of your hair in a bag. Thanks for listening. From your two dads. <laughs> Furnished by Sad Styles Productions. Thwip, 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 thwip. Whoa. Kabam. Yeah. Zazinga. Zazinga.